Rob, the champion of the world, but today we're in Sidley Working Man's Club where you practice and where you practiced last year before going on to, to win the world championship title. Rob, let's, let's go back in time a year. Your first walk on at Ali Pali. So what was that like? Sort of standing in there at the time, it was my biggest crowd what I've ever walked out in front. So, um, and the stage is completely devastating. It's enormous. It's, it's crazy. I have to admit, playing that first game, that first set, when I won that, I started to settle. But if I would have carried on with the first set the way I played, probably would have lost. <laughs> so let's start moving through the event now. Look, you keep winning rounds and people keep talking about you and they're going, well, maybe he could do something here. And then this green monster turns yeah. up. How do you deal with that, knowing you're about to play? And let's face it, over the last four or five years, the best player in the world. The day before when I was prepping myself, I was just tearing myself up. I had a little practice mm. again. And um, I said to myself, just don't miss. You get chances. I'm always going to buy chances, but it's about taking them. And which I've done in that game, obviously, very well. This moment here when you're celebrating, you just lobbed your darts on the floor. <laughs> and did you have any idea that you'd been involved in arguably the greatest game the World Championship had ever seen? I have to admit, I didn't really think about it at the time. You don't. You just, you're just worried about winning and that's all what matters. Um, but with that, with that one game there, I don't think I've had any, any amount of adrenaline than what I had on that night. It's the most I've ever had. From one World Champion to arguably the greatest champion ever, yeah. you make the World Championship final in your first ever year and you play the 16-time champion of the world who is about to play his last ever match. Obviously, he was one of my heroes growing up and trying to separate the difference in my head that I'm going out to win. That, that was tough and, and obviously first world title, so I was a little bit edgy. See, I watched Phil obviously play, say for instance, 15 years and I watched him dominate everyone. I watched him bully everyone and I didn't want it done to me. And realistically, I made sure that I bullied him. I made him miss. And, which he did and obviously come through and, and won. So this next picture must fill you with immense pride. Well, this, this is, is obviously what everyone, we all play for. Sort of look back and everything. Yeah, I'm proud of myself, but we've still got a lot more to go. Are you ready to become Rob Cross, the back-to-back -back world champion? Definitely, yeah. definitely. Not a doubt in my head. You look at that picture and think, we'll have another one of those this year. Oh, why not? We keep accumulating them. We we have loads. <laughs> Rob, thank you very much for spending time. Thank with you. Me. I really appreciate Cheers, it. Cheers, mate. Good luck. Thank you.